Okay, so our vent fan installation. I don't even know why they sell these things. These things are so small and they really just don't do anything but make a bunch of noise. So we're gonna replace this. You just wanna double check. Typically your switch is gonna be able to turn that off so you don't have to turn off the power to the entire place. Um, but just make sure that there's nothing beeping. Use one of your sensors to test if that wire is safe. Now, the one thing I notice here that I don't like is the way this is attached here. So they got a big, like, you know, they got a, must be a support for it. Let me just get rid of that. So I don't like this, this big U here. That's just gonna like, it's not gonna allow the air to flow very well. So I wanna just get rid of this whole system they got here. And we can still use the same vent duct. It's just this whole section needs to go. All right, so then the other thing I don't like about this is that it's not even centered in the room. We got a five foot room and it's like 24 inches. So let's just, this wire is gonna be too short now for this area. So we'll just get rid of this. I'm gonna take all these staples out so I can move these wires around. Okay, so we got this wire for the So this is the wire for the fan. Now, one of the things that you gotta avoid doing is getting too much into the details on this because you wanna stick to your schedule. So I think the most important thing is to get this vent fan installed and then um, run your drywall, get your drywall up in that ceiling. So we can fool around with this later. So for right now, I'm just gonna cut this out and I'm gonna run a loose wire down and connect it to my box um, tomorrow. I'll have a little bit more time tomorrow, but I, I think it's really important to try to get this ceiling in um, because that really just makes it easier mentally, I think, to, to do the job the next day. Um, and, it, and I find that even clients, they're, they're more, they're, they feel more comfortable about having the ceiling up. At least if you had that, it doesn't look so scary. The vent fans that I usually like to use are these uh, Panasonic. They're 80 to 110 um, CFM, cubic feet per minute. So that's how much volume of air they can get out of the room. Um, but uh, what I really like about them, they're just really simple to install and they're really quiet. So I, uh, I do recommend the Panasonic brand. Um, so it does come with a, an easy, Attachment, I would, I primarily use this for retrofits, but since this is all new drywall, I don't, I don't really need this mechanism. Okay, so like I said, we have a 60 inch room. So let's just find the center here. Okay, so we'll get a two by four in between here. So uh, 22 and nine sixteenths. Measure my box real quick. So we got uh, 10 and three eighths. 10, yeah, 10 and 3 eighths. That's 5 and 3 sixteenths. So we just want to yeah, just get a, something to anchor this way as well. Mount this directly to the framing. So then when you do, you hang your drywall, you can put some sealant around here and that'll seal everything so you're not getting any air from the upstairs attic. So I find this to be the simplest install on a new build is to use this. And then this also reduces down to three inch for our duct. So we'll be able to get this on there nicely. But before I connect this, I'm gonna connect my wiring. Okay, go for it. 
Okay, so we'll connect the wires. Right, take that screw out. Just want to take one of these and using these three ace push-in fittings. They're non-metallic, but they're push-in connectors. It makes it really simple. So you just uh -oh. just going to be putting this in a Romex connector. I would say about six to eight inches is all you need. But you might as well prep this down here. So you just cut. So then to cut these sleeves off about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Just prep these wires. Make that sure that's like that. And then just twist that until you can't really twist anymore. And pull on that. Pull on that wire too, make sure it's connected well. Here, and we can connect this tomorrow when we get a new box in there for what we're gonna be adding. Okay, so now we don't forget. I'm just gonna put fan on here. All right, so one really important detail here is take the tape off your flap. This flap was taped in there, so you want to make sure that's out of there. And then you can connect this and a worm drive onto this. Just using a regular liquid nails sufficient okay then I'm gonna use this to seal against my vent fan you could use silicone or even acrylic caulk but I'm just gonna use this liquid nail for that all right so we're just gonna get this up over that two by four All right. 